Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start straight here into the Bitcoin price action because currently here in the one hour you can see again that we are still shifted to the downside. We closed our longs yesterday as soon as we got here a sell signal in the one hour and Bitcoin currently after breaking out from this big rising wedge right now is building up this downwards moving channel and as long as we're not seeing here a breakout to the upside or to the downside we're gonna most likely bounce up and down here from the support that we have currently at around 10,900 and the resistance of 11,570. So currently I have no more position opened I am waiting for the next setup and it looks like that Bitcoin is now on the way down towards here $10,900. So in my opinion, we will see this $11,000 retest pretty soon. So if you plan to open up a short position to play this move because it's about $300 of drop. And I think if you go with 5 to 10x leverage, you can do quite nice gains. I am still waiting here a bit on the sideline to open up a possible short position if we're going up here to retest here this $11,500 area. Because currently we're already seeing this sell signal playing out and we are waiting right now for a potential buy signal. But therefore, I think we should come down here to test the $11,000 area. And this is also where we have our CME gap down here at around $11,300 here on the CME chart. So here we have about a two to $300 price premium. So that means for the spot price that potentially it will go down to 11,000 till we're gonna close this future gap and potentially also create a double bottom formation here that could potentially take Bitcoin again higher towards $12,000. Because in case that we are able to break out here to the upside from this falling channel here, the target would be first to reach here the previous support, which now is resistance here at 12,000. And if we are able to push through, then potentially even up here at the main resistance of the previous rising wedge at 12,700. Hundred dollar, but as long as we are not seeing a breakout, we're gonna stay in this channel here. And if you want to take these swings when we go down and up, of course you can trade that as well. But be very careful because if one of these two lines is getting broken, then we're gonna have potentially a very big move to the upside or to the downside. It is also possible that we're gonna stay in this channel till we're gonna reach our first bearish target of ten thousand five hundred dollar down here before we're gonna see a big breakout to the upside. So it is possible that we're gonna stay for a couple of days in this channel before we're gonna see a breakout here. And uh, in the one hour, you can see that currently we are trading below all the moving averages. They're giving us resistance so far. And also the RSI right now is trading below the 50 level. If we go over into the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that we're trading on the bearish side. So here below the moving averages, and we have the MACD also shifted to the downside. Only the stochastic is now coming up here after being oversold. So we're seeing a little bounce right now, but I don't think this is gonna be very sustainable. Maybe we're gonna have a week here to the upside towards 11,500, but I think most likely we are now on the way towards 11,000 dollar and therefore we have to go over to the four hour time frame because here you can see clearly that we are getting rejected from the 20 moving average so far so this line is now our main resistance here in this channel and it's right now at 11,470. So if I'm gonna short it right now, then I'm gonna wait till maybe we're gonna have another retest of the 20 or 200 moving average here at around 11,450. Also because currently we have the RSI trading below the 50 level so we are on the bearish side so I think a possible move here towards 11k is very likely to come in the next couple of hours and if we're gonna have a push to the upside watch out here for the 11,570 resistance. And let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, because currently, as you can see, we are trading again here in the lower part of the Bollinger Band, so on the bearish side, and here the bottom is currently at 11,180. So that's why it is very likely that we're coming down here, potentially even overshoot it to the downside. We have now the stochastic flat, 
and MACD is also looking quite flat here. We're waiting here for a potential bullish or bearish cross. Yesterday, it looked like that we could have a bullish cross here. In that case, we would have had a big pump here towards $12,000, but it didn't happen. And as you can see, MACD is now flat and the price is reverting back down after getting rejected from the middle moving average here in the Bollinger Band. And that's why this was also the signal that we should close our longs from yesterday. And currently we are seeing a potential continuation of this dump. So if you want to short, maybe you can start to scale in some small positions. And if the price is coming higher towards the resistance, scaling you short and then write it down if we're gonna have here this major dump towards $11,000. But there potentially think about to put a stop loss or close it because I think we're gonna move here between these two lines for the next couple of hours and days. And that's why take always profits out or lock in the profits with a stop loss so you will never get liquidated or never be underwater. The worst thing is once you're in a trade that is in profit that comes back down and you're again in negative. So this is really the worst thing that you can do. That's why always lock in the profits. And now let's go over into the daily time frame. Because here, as you can see, yesterday we didn't manage to close above the 20 daily moving average. This is actually where we exactly came here with our pump and we got rejected here at the 20 daily moving average. And so far we're seeing again a rejection. So we're falling again and the next target would be somewhere down here where all the 50 daily moving average is lining up. So towards here the $11,000 level so here the rsi is also right at the 50 level if we are coming down to these levels i think we will probably shift it to the downside here from the rsi and that would mean that we're gonna start to trade in the bearish side so the room to the downside then is quite huge because like that easily we could reach even the 200 daily moving average which is down here at around nine thousand dollar so in that case i think we will definitely see our bigger correction down to those levels where also we have a CME gap down here at $9,600. So let's go also over into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here, as you can see, we are currently trading in the bottom area. We have stochastic now shifted to the downside. It is still in oversold condition, but we can stay in this area for quite some time. Also MACD still shifted to the downside. So as long as the MACD in the daily shifted to the downside, we should expect here continuation of this dump and here the bottom is currently at 11,270. So I think with the next bigger move potentially we're gonna bring also here the Bollinger Bands lower and if we're seeing any kind of pump then keep an eye here into the moving averages here in the Bollinger Band so between 11,600 and 11,700 right now. So even if we see a short-lived pump this could potentially be our main resistance so far and also if you plan to open up a bigger short position then watch out for this price levels here but currently it looks like that we didn't even manage to touch here the first moving average and we're seeing already here a big rejection and as i told you potentially a continuation of this uh, sell-off and if we switch over into the weekly here you can see that we are coming closer and closer to our 20 weekly moving average which is right now at ten thousand dollar so i still think that most likely before we're gonna definitely have a big bounce to the upside we potentially gonna touch here first the 20 weekly moving average also cool off here a bit the rsi after being very overbought and especially if you have a look here into the bollinger band here you can clearly see that we were completely overbought we overshooted the bollinger band for a couple of weeks and right now we're seeing a healthy correction down to these two moving averages so between ten thousand six hundred dollar and nine thousand six hundred dollars so that means that most likely we will come down to these two moving averages where we can gear up again for the next big move to the upside we have the stochastic now shifted to the downside macd still shifted to the upside so for the long term everything is still good even though this correction was in the cards and potentially now we're gonna see the play out so if you want to trade this with a short then of course remember that you can trade this on bybit or femex for example if you have tether then also on bityard you can trade bitcoin and other crypto with your tether otherwise stay here on bybit and femex here you can trade with your cryptos bitcoin ethereum eos and xrp if you want to take this short then you know the targets for here but once we're gonna reach here, this area here i would consider to scale in big long positions and also rebuy back in whatever you took out in profits up here in this region because this could be really the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoin below 10 K. 
And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Don't forget to sign up to those exchanges where you can trade with leverage up to 100 decks with the links that you find down below here in the video description. With my links currently, you can get up to $538 in bonus. And of course, you support the channel. Also, make sure that you join our free Discord trading chat. The link is down below here in the video description. There, I also going to put always my buy and sell signals that I get from my own indicator. And also at the end of the video is popping up a subscription video for our $10 worth of Bitcoin, which is sponsored by BTArt. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. Moon up the like, subscribe to the channel, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.